Ever wondered how a simple cashew nut makes its way from tree to snack? You've probably enjoyed a handful of them during your break, but did you know there's a complex and fascinating journey behind that tiny, crunchy treat? From its humble beginnings on a tree in tropical regions, to the flavorful snack that ends up in your hand, the path of a cashew nut is far from ordinary. Here at Infinite Farming, we delve deep into the processes that bring us some of our favorite foods. Today, we'll take you through the steps of how cashew nuts go from tree to snack, revealing some surprising secrets along the way. If you think the journey from farm to table is straightforward, think again. There's far more than meets the eye. Cashew trees thrive in tropical regions, where the warm climate and well-drained soils are perfect for their growth. Whether they're grown from seeds or grafted, the trees require a great deal of care when it comes to spacing and soil preparation to ensure they grow healthy and strong. The process of planting cashews is not quick. It takes about three to five years for a tree to begin bearing fruit, and even then, it's not at its full production capacity. A fully matured cashew tree can take anywhere from 8 to 12 years to reach its prime. But there's something truly magical about how these trees start their journey. In tropical regions like India, Brazil, and Vietnam, the cashew tree's flowers bloom, and soon after, they transform into fruits that will carry the nut we all know and love. The process starts with the pollination of the flowers, which triggers the formation of the cashew apple. This apple grows on the tree and is what contains the nut. Interestingly, the nut isn't inside the apple's flesh but hangs from the bottom of the fruit. This structure is what makes harvesting both tricky and labor-intensive. The tree's growth isn't just about planting and waiting. It requires careful attention to watering, fertilization, and pest control. A cashew tree can survive with minimal care once established, but its early years need special attention to ensure a strong foundation. However, the real challenge comes when it's time to harvest. But don't rush. This process is just the beginning. When it comes time to harvest, workers must handle the cashew fruit with care. The shell surrounding the nut contains a caustic, toxic liquid that can irritate the skin and eyes. This is no ordinary fruit. It's a challenge to work with. The cashew nut's shell contains an acidic resin called anacardic acid, which can cause skin burns. The workers wear protective gloves and clothing to prevent contact with this toxic substance during the harvest. The harvest begins with farmers plucking the cashew apples from the tree. Each apple has a single nut attached to the bottom of it. The apples are removed first, and while the cashew fruit is used in some places for juices or eaten fresh, it's the nut that gets the most attention. This separation process is tricky and requires precision. If the nut isn't removed carefully, it could still be covered in toxic liquid, which could harm the workers or spoil the nut. Once harvested, the nuts are laid out to dry in the sun where they undergo the first stage of the transformation. But even after they're removed from the tree, the journey isn't over. The nuts need further drying, cleaning, and roasting. The labor-intensive process of removing the nuts from their shells is only one of the stages involved in producing the cashew snack we know. So, what happens after the harvesting phase? After harvesting, the cashew nuts need to be dried to prevent spoilage and preserve their quality. This is where the sun comes in. The drying process is essential in reducing the moisture content of the nuts and preventing mold growth, which could ruin an entire batch. Sun drying is the most common method used in tropical regions where sunlight is abundant, and it's a simple yet effective technique. The nuts are spread out on large surfaces, often in the open air or on drying beds, and left to dry under the intense heat of the sun. This can take several days, depending on the weather conditions. 
The key here is to ensure that the nuts are evenly dried, as uneven drying can lead to mold or the development of off flavors. Workers regularly stir the nuts to ensure uniform drying. In some regions, additional drying steps are applied in specially designed machines to remove any residual moisture. These industrial dryers use hot air to speed up the process and reduce the time needed for drying. The result is a dry, moisture-free nut that is now ready for the next crucial stages. But drying the nuts is just one part of the story. Once they're dried and ready for the factory, there's a lot more work that goes into transforming them into the cashews we know and love. So, what happens next? Once the cashew nuts arrive at the factory, they're inspected, washed, and then roasted to perfection. The washing stage removes any remaining dirt, dust, and contaminants that the nuts may have collected during transportation. The nuts are placed in specialized washing machines, which are designed to handle large volumes of cashews. These machines rinse the nuts thoroughly with clean water, ensuring they are spotless before moving on to the next stage. Roasting is where the magic happens. The cashews are roasted at high temperatures to bring out their natural flavor. Roasting also helps eliminate any remaining moisture inside the nuts. During this stage, cashews develop their characteristic crunch and are enhanced with the rich, roasted flavor we all know and love. The nuts are roasted for a specific amount of time to ensure they achieve the perfect balance between flavor and texture. The roasting process varies depending on the desired flavor profile. Some facilities use different temperatures or roasting times to create a range of cashew types, such as lightly roasted or more heavily roasted versions. After roasting, the cashews are left to cool before moving on to the next step. After roasting, the next major challenge is cracking the tough outer shell. In small operations, this is often done by hand. Workers use nutcrackers or other specialized tools to split the shells open carefully ensuring the precious nut inside remains intact. This process is delicate, as the goal is to extract the cashew without damaging it. In larger scale operations, mechanical crackers take over, cracking the shells quickly and efficiently. These mechanical crackers are incredibly advanced and designed to apply just the right amount of pressure to break the shell open without harming the nut. Some machines use rollers, while others rely on pneumatic systems that exert pressure. Even in these automated environments, manual labor still plays a crucial role, especially when it comes to peeling the nuts. Peeling is another step where human hands are essential. The thin skin that covers the cashew nut needs to be removed carefully. While machines can do the bulk of the work, workers are still needed to inspect the nuts and remove any remaining skin. This attention to detail ensures that the final product is as perfect as possible. Though machines have taken over many parts of the cashew nut processing, Peeling is still an area where human workers excel. Manual peeling may seem labor-intensive, but it allows workers to handle the nuts with a level of care that machines simply can't match. Workers are able to adjust their technique based on the shape and size of the nuts, ensuring a consistent product every time. Manual peeling also allows for better quality control. Workers can inspect each nut individually, looking for defects, discolorations, or irregularities that machines might miss. This ensures that only the best cashews are passed through to the final packaging stage. Once the nuts are peeled and ready, it's time for the final step, seasoning. Cashews are versatile and they're often flavored to make them even more delicious. The seasoning process can take many forms, depending on the desired outcome. One popular method is tumbling, where the nuts are placed in a rotating drum and seasoning is added. The tumbling action ensures that the seasoning is evenly distributed across the cashews. Another method involves spraying the cashews with a seasoning solution. This allows for more even coverage and can create a more intense flavor. The nuts may also be coated with a dry seasoning mix, such as salt, spices, or even exotic flavors like garlic and cheese. Once the seasoning has been applied, the cashews are left to rest, allowing the flavors to fully infuse. This resting period is key to ensuring that the nuts absorb the seasoning evenly and enhance their flavor profile. After all that hard work, 
the cashews are ready to be packaged. Bulk containers are often used for industrial purposes, where large quantities of nuts are shipped out for further processing or wholesale. These containers, sacks or drums, hold massive amounts of nuts, catering to bulk buyers like manufacturers. For retail consumers, the cashews are vacuum sealed in small bags, ensuring freshness and a longer shelf life. The vacuum sealing process removes air from the bag, which helps preserve the flavor and prevents spoilage. These bags come in various sizes, catering to individual snackers as well as larger buyers. Once packaged, the cashews are distributed through networks that ensure they reach supermarkets, stores, and vending machines worldwide. And then, of course, they end up on your shelves, ready for you to snack on. Cashews aren't just a snack. They are incredibly versatile and can be used in various culinary creations. From salads and curries to being transformed into cashew cheese, these nuts have made their way into kitchens around the globe. Next time you grab a handful of cashews, take a moment to appreciate the journey they've made from tree to snack. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of cashew nuts, be sure to like and subscribe to Infinite Farming for more fascinating food stories and agricultural insights.